We're doing a brand new unboxing of a new subscription service that I just uh, bought a year long subscription for it last month. We have filmed, we, I did get the May box because I bought it in May. We have filmed that, but this is probably gonna post first because I would like to get this out first and then we'll probably post that one the day afterwards. So if you guys haven't heard me talk about it, it is the Glow Attic box. I saw Alexandria Ryan talking about it. I saw it on my Instagram, on my Facebook, a couple other places. I kind of started like noticing it and, and checking more in on it. And then they did a sale and they had, I got like 25% off, I think. And that basically wound up paying for my shipping for the entire year. So I went ahead and did a year subscription. For 12 months, it wound up being just over $200, which equaled about $18 a box. And they do normally charge you shipping. That is about the standard price, but they do normally charge you shipping. So basically I'm getting like three or $4 off each box, which you know what, I'll take it. So um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it is more of like a niche indie brand. So it's not really name brand and they don't have customization or variations. Pretty much everybody, not pretty much, Everybody who orders a box can get the same product. So there is a little bit less of a special design. I really wish I could talk. I just can't ever talk for some reason. There's less of a specialized targeted product base for you, but I still really like what they do. And they seem to include a palette in every single box that I've seen, which is a big deciding factor for me because I love palettes. So without any further ado, let's jump into June's box and let's see what we got. Interesting, I guess in, I guess in shipping this came unrolled, but I, I think that was supposed to be around the palette, but it was just loose, so. But it like rolled loose, it was like, it was like this, so. First things first, let's talk about the palette because I'm excited about this one. So as we all know, and as we are all excited about, uh, June of course is Pride Month, which is something that the beauty community especially loves to celebrate. So the palette uh, is a very Pride-based palette. Um, I did see the spoiler for this palette, which I try not to look at them, but I did see this one. And I really like this. I'm very excited about it. It gives you a great range of shades and it gives you a great range of glitter pigments so you've got these four down here that are mattes these four in the middle are like semi shimmers with just like a slight sheen to them but not like a true glitter pigment then you've got these two really deep glitters and then you've got these two which are shimmery but i would call them more of like accent colors the black and the the white which of course is going to help you kind of um to blend and to uh, make some of these colors really pop so i'm excited for it it's called medusa's makeup and it's the electro palette uh, I'll, yeah, I'm ready to try it out. I'm very excited to do a, a look for uh, for this box. The next thing we got, and this one I'm like so excited about. I'm trying to, it's, it's, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like that very specialized fabric. Oh, I sound so stupid right now and I can't remember. The microfiber, that's what I was looking for. It's a microfiber blending uh, sponge. It's like the beauty blender, but it's got the microfiber stuff on it. And it feels like a plushie. Like it feels like, like a beanie baby that you're gonna just do your makeup with. And I really think this is going to be my new favorite beauty blender. I use them continuously, but I normally, Truthfully, I normally buy cheap ones. I know people will probably be like, that's stupid, but I buy them on sale at Ulta and I pay like, you know, whatever, two, two $3 a, a sponge for them. And then when they're used up, which just happens pretty frequently, I just throw them away and then use a new one. So, you know, it's it's hard. It's, you, you wanna buy nicer things. And I've definitely learned that quality is important in the beauty community, but you also have to realize that some of these products are gonna be done in a couple months. Uh, I try and save money on that, but this, this one I really think is going to be just like a game changer for me. So I can't wait to test it out. And it, it's just so damn soft. It could be like a stress ball. The next thing we have is a, it's a CBD coffee lip scrub. Interesting. It just smells like coffee. It doesn't smell like anything else, but um, I am not really like, I, I'm, I'm very, I encourage it. Like if it's legal in your state, by all means, if you've got the medical subscription for it or prescription for it, by all means, go ahead. And I, I don't judge if you don't have a, a prescription or anything else of any excuse, you just love it. Go ahead, just not really my thing. So I don't really smoke weed and I don't really like the smell of, of pot or CBD. This one doesn't smell like anything other than coffee. So if you hate the smell of coffee, you're probably gonna hate this, but I'm excited to try it out. Um, I have actually acquired quite a few CBD based products now and I'm kind of interested to do like a full face of it. And this might be a fun thing to include in that. Uh, we did get another pair of false eyelashes, which I've seen to uh, pick up. This is kind of like a trend in these, the, the glow attic boxes. For me, as somebody who doesn't really use false lashes, I'm, I'm guessing just depending on the, I've gotten two boxes and two sets of false lashes so far. So probably a lot of these will end up going to like giveaways or friends or something like that. Not a bad thing. It's just not something that I'm gonna use 
use regularly and I don't wanna like sit there and, and let them collect dust while I'm not, cause I don't do false lashes hardly ever. Occasionally, but not regularly enough to have basically 12 if we get one every box. So um, really gorgeous lashes though. They're very long, very dramatic. I like them for specific looks and for specific videos and occasions, but just not something that I'm gonna use regularly. So these might be ones that I keep or they may be ones that go into a giveaway. We'll have to see. And then the last thing we got, they are firm and lift the lower lift they're they're like face masks but it says you get six varieties and nine combinations but there's only one pack so i'm wondering if it's just like this is what you could get or if you get all six of the different types of masks and then this is just how you can use them differently and then i'm wondering if that's true like if you decide not to use them all at once like how you store them so interesting. I'm excited to kind of see how everything works together. I'm definitely most excited about the sponge and the palette. I think those are gonna be really cool. And I think the sponge and the palette alone are worth the $18 that I would have spent on this box. So yeah, pretty excited to try this out. And I'm definitely excited to get more. I mean, it's hard to tell when you've only gotten one or two boxes from a subscription service, if it's gonna be worth it for you. Um, with as low as the price point is, and also knowing that it is more of an indie brand and that it is um, m much more niche products, I'm not really surprised or upset with like the fact that they're not quite the products that I necessarily would choose to buy for myself normally. Um, but I'm excited to see like kind of how Glow Addict progresses throughout the year and if it winds up being something that I decide to continue through 2021 or if it's gonna be something that I end after this year's subscription is over. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Very quick little unboxing today. Um, if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't heard about Glow, Glow Addict, then like definitely comment and some stuff. I can talk to you about it. I did do some research beforehand. People give it really great reviews. And basically what you see is kind of what every month is looking like based on what I've seen from their past boxes. So yeah, if you guys wanna talk about it or create a dialogue, definitely comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Dark Angel family yet, please do so. We would love for you to be part of our little YouTube community. Um, I love and, and want all of you here. And I, I want you to know that uh, every one of your subscriptions means the absolute world to me. And I care so much about you guys. So uh, yeah, if you haven't joined, then hit the uh, subscription button and the notification bell so you see when we post videos. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.